Hello, housemates, and welcome back to Avernum, Escape from the Pit. We're going to talk to some more folks here in Barga and see what's what. Cynthia. A woman sits behind the counter, writing a scroll. The room is filled with other scrolls, all of them on the same sort of parchment. When she sees that you are a potential customer, she sets her pen aside. Welcome, traveler. I am Cynthia the Scribe. Where did all these books come from? She bristles at the question. You mean, what are books and scrolls doing in the abyss? Because we are too crude and violent to ever want to read? We built this library the same way Avernum built theirs. Scavenging, trading, and hard work. Um, okay, excuse me. What do you sell? I am a sage. I suppose that would mean I sell knowledge. She smiles wryly. I am here instead of the nice caves to the south because this is the place where I feel safe. How could you feel safe in Barga? Yes, I know. Warring giants, bandits, fierce and crude people. But there is also the freedom to study what I want and say what I want. Until I came to Barga, I'd never found a place where I could claim that. Okay, what can a sage do? I used to identify items. Many strange things are found on the bodies of the giants, and I figured out which ones can aid us. Most of my scrolls describe the bizarre things I've seen. She thinks. I'm also trying to find out about the dragon. There's a dragon around here. I believe so, and I fear it may be a dire threat to us. The dragon fort is to the east, and the... Excuse me. Yeah, the giant fort is to the east, and the dragon, so I believe, lies east of that. They worship it, you see. And I fear it may one day hunger for human flesh and come here. When that happens, I doubt we survive. That's interesting. How could we reach it? There is a secret tunnel out of Barga to the east. Head east from there, and you might find the creature's lair. But that would be a foolish, foolish suicidal quest, if you ask me. Can I buy some of your scrolls? I'm afraid not. All of my magical scrolls are reserved for the defense of Barga. The giants are a constant threat, and we all need the power. We, we need all the power we can to, uh, all the power we can gather. All right, fine. See if she's got anything tucked away back here. There's a large library at the west end of this room. Well, a large library by Navernum standards, anyway. This must be the library X asked you to locate. Now you can report back to him. Okay. Here is Prin, I guess. What is this? She's an alchemist? A small, elfin woman with long, scarlet hair sits at her desk, preparing a poultice. Um, what services do you provide? I am but a humble healer. You must be busy here. Yes, I lived in Almaria once, but I heard about the war here and knew that this is where my skills were needed. You can't imagine the threats these people live with. You can buy help from me if you need it. Um, can I buy some healing? Alright... Ooh, invulnerability potion. That's expensive, though. Um, they are utterly ridiculous, but... Oh, we only have one. We may well need that. Okay. There's an upstairs. Molly. This is a shy eerily pale little girl. She follows you around and watches you from a safe distance. You ask her name. She says, Molly. What are you doing here? I'm scared. What are you scared of? She shies away from you. Giants throw things. Oh, she's got that kind of... Giants throw things. Wood. Scares me. It's clear that you scare her too. You don't have to be scared. I'm here. You scary too, you foals. You hate people here. She backs away from you. Gotta go. She runs away. A minute later, she's following you again. You spying on us? Guard. Lots of stuff. Good. Watching me. I don't care. Uh, more guards. Steel javelin. They got some nice stuff here. Uh, 
Etheridge the Learned Schooling of All Kinds. That's an interesting title. A woman in dark flowing robes and a hood moves constantly around the training hall. You can occasionally make the outline of a blade out through her clothes. She gives you a brief salute. Welcome, warrior. I am Etheridge, and all who use their blades for justice and freedom are welcome to learn my skill. Can you help me with my skills? Yes, I train all who can use it. The people of the Abyss need all the skills they can get. You notice that she sounds slightly nervous. You seem nervous. Why? You are an adventurer, so I will tell you. I am trapped in Barga. Trapped by the spirits of warriors I have slain in battle. They wait west of here, outside the city gates, tirelessly waiting for me. I am not strong enough to slay them, and they haunt my dreams. I live in fear. How are you haunted in such a way when so many other warriors aren't? I wish I knew. Perhaps it is that I have slain so many in battle that even the few foes who were capable of returning to haunt me started to add up. Alright, well, it's a little bit of, like, bragging almost there. Alright, I have another question, weirdo. I'd like to train with you. Okay, she can teach all sorts of stuff. They're exorbitant, though. Hmm. None of these are, like, crucial to learn at this point in time. This is... Barga Hall of War! This room is filled with charts, maps, schedules, and a thousand fluttering scraps of parchment covered with notes and plans. This must be the War Room of Barga. A quick inspection reveals that the war with the giants to the east has been a long and brutal one. Surprisingly, the forces of the Abyss seem up to the task. There's no one in the War Room. We're not going to go upstairs quite yet. Let's get everything down here first. Dead room. This body has been sitting here for days, and a predictable level of decomposition is set in. After only a few minutes near it, you start to feel very ill. Aww. Okay, I get the point. Let's go talk to Cabanero. A young priest with ratty robes and dark skin runs around, looking for wounded soldiers. He stops for a moment when you approach. I am Cabanero, healer of the wall. I cannot talk for long. There are always defenders who need my services. You must be a priest. Once. Now I patrol these walls and heal those who need it. There's more havoc here than I could ever help with, but I have been trying. It is, after all, the fate I chose. The fates cast you into the abyss? That is not at all what he said. I shouted and shouted for the poor downtrodden on the surface. Then the Empire tired of hearing the truth and threw me down here. I did the same thing around the Vols, but they got sick of me too, so they sent me to the abyss, and I came here. It's miserable and dangerous, but I can fight for my cause here, and nobody tries to shut me up. Why are the injuries so serious? Giants are very strong. They come here and lob boulders over the wall for fun. Then, when they get serious, they charge. Were it not for me and Prin, many more would have died. As it is, the bloodshed is horrible. Okay. You're in my way, dude. Dude. Thank you. Alright, so they got lots of walls here. There's a secret passage. This must take us outside. Now let's go upstairs. Okay, it's kind of dark up here. Alright, there's the mayor. And like a fortress. You meet a man with puffy brown hair and a harried expression. He sits in a luxurious chair, probably stolen from a caravan somewhere. He wears nice clothes and a black sash, probably a parody of the purple sashes mares in Avernum wear. He nods in greeting, but you can see that the presence of an Avernite warrior is deeply worrying to him. Welcome, Avernite. I am Mare Mayor. 
leader of this crumbling fortress. Um, are you in charge of Barga? I am. I was chosen. I mainly organize our defenses and provide tactics for the soldiers here. Barga is the last bastion against the giants. What do you think about the giants? Stupid, vile creatures. They attacked us because it was something to do. Now they refuse to stop. We keep looking to you people for help, and you ignore us. Who have you been asking for help? We've sent messengers to King Micah again and again, telling him of the horrors we suffer. He hasn't sent a person to help. Not one sword. Not one mage. Would I wouldn't give for a group of dedicated adventurers. You're in luck. I am an adventurer. He grins. Not entirely pleasantly. I'm afraid I don't have any reward to offer you. But I can tell you that the giant fort is to the east, and they own great wealth. Oh, and there is a secret passage out in the northeast corner of town. You can use that to get out and get to the giants more quickly. Is there anything we can do for you here? Apart from killing many giants, as many giants as you can? Very little. They have a lot of treasure and their lairs to the east. You should drop by. Are there other cities in the abyss? Yes. Spire is to the south, but I don't like to talk about them. Why not? Brigands and thieves. That's all they have there. They don't help us fight the giants. They just want to loot and pillage. Mina's the mayor there. The queen of the scum. I'd stay away from there. Stay away from there. We welcome a Vernites here. They certainly do not. All right. Well, your mayoral hall is very dank and unimpressive. All right. Well, let's see. We could go. We do have a reason to go out that way. Yes. Yes. There is somebody out there. All right. And Pyrog is the dragon they're talking about. Let's go out here and see what's going to happen. There is a tiny secret passage sloping down sharply to the east. It is far too small for a giant to fit through it. You don't doubt that this was intentional. Alright, here we are. Hand in stone. Speed potion. All right, some giants right here. A large force of giants have camped here, blocking all travel in and out of the city of Barga. They don't look the least bit scared of you. To get past here, you'll have to fight them. All right. The giants must have been here for a while, getting very bored. They attack you enthusiastically. This could be very unfortunate. Ugh. Ugh, we're gonna get totally mangled. Giant mages. Uncool. Christ. Alright. Focus on the diviners. Okay. Oh, come on, man. Fucking lame. Alright, well, we have found yet another thing we aren't quite ready for. Yeah, we're just gonna get crushed here.
Alright, so let's find something else to do, I guess. Right, these, I think, are the spirits the woman was talking about. You find the ghosts Etheridge told you about. There's quite a variety of them. Nephilim, Slith, Zurichai, humans. All of the spirits display grievous wounds, and all of them are very angry. They look more annoyed than anything else when you get close to them. You aren't the person they want to fight and kill. Still, they won't shy away from killing you if you continue to pester them. Let's give it a shot. Out here, so fucking. God. Man. We're gonna get totally screwed because our healer is terrified. So. Ugh. need to leave this area. We're not good enough to do it at all. What about this? Let's not avoid them. We need XP and so we should get it from whomever we can. Unlocking us. Total fucking garbage. We'll, we'll actually win this one pretty handily. But yeah, stuff is just ridiculously tough out there. How do you like being stunned, asshole? And then killed.
this way somewhere is Erica's tower. You would like to push your way through the thick rope-like webs to continue down this granite, large granite gallery. Oh, you would have to. The webs are fresh and sticky. You look around and soon see the spiders that are responsible for the obstruction. They are approaching you slowly, fangs bared. They aren't very fast, you could easily slip away. Nope, let's get jacked up by something else. All right, Arania Seers and Cave Widows, so this is all pretty bad. <laughs> Pretty bad. Okay, at least we get to go first, mostly. Battle Frenzy. They're all like, oh no! Yeah, how do you like it? When the cheap shit happens to you, computer. God, there are like 8 million of these things. Okay. Spellcasters must die. As per always. Like so. No, don't wait. Kill. Right. I killed the wrong person. That's cleared things up a bit. This time. No, I did it again. Damn it. Can't even press buttons right. Fire breathing spiders, huh? I really gotta step up my game. I'm. Starting to whine too much. All right, spider cave. You found a very well hidden cave. It's a small crevice in the wall. You wouldn't have noticed it if you weren't close. The tunnel stretches for 50 feet and then opens up into a small chamber. Inside, you find a jumble of rubble and a few scraps of leather. You don't find any interesting, anything interesting, so you leave. Really? I wonder if my cave lore is just too low for some of these encounters up here now. Swampy caverns. Oh, shit. 
shit. I did not see those. Yep. Goodbye. Fuck off. Come on. This is so ridiculous. Uh. All right, we're leaving the abyss just entirely. It is just too much for us at this point in time. I guess we can go this way. Stay in Avernum and just go farther west. I guess that will be our our plan for the time being. Wait, where am I? Here I am. So we need to improve our mage skill. So that we can get better at dispelling barriers. So that we can get to the part of Demon Slayer. So that we can go back to the Tower of Magi and do all that stuff. Alright, let's see what's over here. This is a small fishing village on the island, drawing a meager but reasonable catches of pale, slimy fish from the lake. There are not only humans here, but a small number of sliffs as well, living in an uneasy peace with their neighbors. News of your exploits has reach, reached these simple folk. They invite you to eat fish stew and tell them of your adventures. Eventually, warmed and full, you depart. Well, that was nice. Wait, what's happening? Oh, I'm in Nass. I'm in a slick village and they're not killing me. Garthas. A young female slith pours over a leather scroll. When she looks up at you, you realize that her eyes glow. Welcome. Oh. Welcome. I am Garthas, scribe. Study magic. Study your tongue. Good to see. Uh, what are you looking at? I study and prepare. One day we call to defend ourselves. Defend yourselves from what? Dark Slith brothers concentrate on you humans now, but they will come for us as well. We will fight. And if not them kill us, I fear you humans will one day give in to your hate. Little village of Gnas sits between two giants, waiting. But I see you are not like that, or so I think. I have help for you. Help is always welcomed. I scribe scrolls. You could purchase if you like. Though I fear what humans may one day do to us, we help them now as best we can, in hope that peace lasts longer. All right. So, Sliss know how to read? Yes. You humans have terrible ideas about how smart we Sliths are. We read and write and are very good at the magic arts. Just because we live in caves doesn't mean we are dumb. What are you looking at? I study and prepare. Yeah, yeah, I did that. Okay. Um, I'd like to buy some potions and scrolls. Or would I? Slightly expensive. I'll definitely buy a group heal, return life. Alright, I will leave you to your work. Thank you for not killing me. Uh, no thanks necessary. A lot of statues. This is a massive, frighteningly muscular slith. He is working on making a large and carefully detailed statue. He turns to welcome you. He awkwardly shakes his hand and bares his teeth in an unnerving smile. I am Bath Atha, maker of statues. I sound just so bad doing these voices. I have good welcome for you, human. Um, you live in peace with humans here? I am glad of it. The sliths in this village are peaceful. We mean no harm to humanity. 
How did you learn our tongue so well? Much study. To have peace, we must first understand the thoughts of the other. And what do humans think of you? They fear and mistrust us. I don't think that will last. We trust humans to be hopeful, uh, open and respectful and kind. I am sure it will work out. Uh, probably not. Humans are terrible. <clears throat> are you a sculptor? Sometimes. I work the stone. I make statues and homes for people. His speech is unusually clear. Okay, so I don't have to talk like that anymore. <clears throat> um, why are there so many statues around Nass? We Sliths remember the great magi and leaders of our past, and we remember them with statues. Paper rots and carvings fade, so Sliths keep their history in many, many statues. A stonemason is much respected by Sliths. You make homes? Uh, don't the Sliths live in caves? He laughs, a strange sibilant sound. We learn that from humans. Sliths live in warrens, but when we flee here, no warrens, so make houses. I think I am first Slith to ever do so. I did not do well at first. Rocks fall on our heads, but now... He indicates the town with a grand gesture, his strange face lit up with pride. Stones fell. Yes, very... What is your word? Ah, embarrassing. I make house. Roof falls on Chief's head. It takes several tries to get it right. Okay. Okay. No one in here. Breaking and entering. Not a problem, right? Aspa, keeper of the shrine in the path. You meet an old slith with a wise, piercing, lidless gaze. She sits reclined behind the desk. A fire keeps this small house very warm. Eskaasa, she exclaims. You don't know what that means. Aspaam, healer, potion maker, shrine tender. Humans met with peace. Um, peaceful sliths are a rare sight in Avernum. Unfortunately, your words are too true. But living peacefully is our desire. Our chief, Siskai, will tell of our past and how we came here, and of the darkness we would help you fight. Um, what do you do here in Nass? I am healer, and I tend shrine. I greet humans who come here and in peace tell them of us. What shrine do you keep? On island outside, not all sliths worship dark beings. We have gods of peace which dark Sistis has turned from. Go to the shrine and bow to it, and you will feel what it is to be true slith and not foul killer. I take care of the shrine. It is not the temple, but it must do for us here. Uh, where is the temple you mentioned? When we sliths came, we built a great temple in a lovely swamp to the east. It was good. I helped to build. But Sistis and his defiled it when they took it. Now they worship dark things, and have an altar with a piece of dead human's broken sword. Oh, we only have one piece of Demon Slayer. Okay. It is sad. It was a beautiful place. The full twelve purification pools. Gone now. A piece of a human sword. Yes. Trophy taken by savage ones. Piece of sword loved by humans. Mighty artifact. Slayer of demons. Chunk of it now in temple to east. Alright, well we need to get that. Um, I need the services of a healer. Can I see your potions? And those are pretty average. Um, all right. Do a little bit more exploring around the town. Slith. It's a generic slith. Oh, there's a bunch of people with names out here. I don't want to talk to everyone right now. Some lizards. Stathra. This is... The baby slith Zurichai look half lizard and half humanoid. They're all nasty. Several of them gnaw bits of material out of your boots before you get away. No, stop it. Until we return home. Okay, I don't really want to talk to anyone at the moment. Mm. 
Lots of statues. No, I don't want to talk at the moment. There's a hole in the ground. Meat breeding pit, all right. All right, <clears throat> wait. What's that? This is Blosk. All right, um, we're gonna cut this episode for now. Uh, I I did get a little bit whiny. I'm a, I apologize for that. Uh, just a little bit irritated. I was kept getting so stomped so hard up there. I do feel that the um, the mind control, mind sort of affecting abilities that enemies have are too effective. Um, it's not actually that easy to get resistance to them, uh, except on mages. And even so, I mean, so she has mental resistance 75. She has 61 and she still got like stunned. And of course these guys are just hopeless. You know, they have 20 something mental resistance. So they almost always get stunned and stuff. Um, I mean, the, uh, uh, and even the Ward of Thoughts hasn't seemed to help that much. Uh, maybe we just need to go find somewhere to level it up, but yeah, that was pretty rough up there in the Abyss. So, I will get myself in a better uh, statistical position and a better frame of mind before I go up there. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Um, please hit a thumbs up on the video if you did. And if you'd like to see more, then please subscribe to my channel. If you're not going to do any of those things, then of course, I don't care what you do. 